Hey everybody, this is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here with a video right next to my glass door because it has the best lighting, so I apologize. I try to do the best that I can with what I got. First thing I want to let you know is I did place a trade on this past Thursday and it was a losing trade. I had every intentions of uploading it on uh, YouTube. I had it all up, um, edited and um, I just never put it out there. Life got in the way. I had other things to do, personal things. Comment down below whether you want me to go ahead and upload it. Anyways, it was a losing trade. I'm not going to give it away as to how, uh, how much I lost in the option price, um, but it was a rather risky trade. Anyways, on today's trading video, I didn't actually place an actual trade. I didn't trade it. What I want you to take away from today's video is watch in particularly what IWM and the Qs did or what, what happened in those two when I got a signal on SPY. Rather interesting, something to incorporate in my daily trading. So uh, just keep that in mind. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Like and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll let you watch today's video. Thank you. Good morning everybody. Today is September 24th, 2018. And um, not necessarily do I have a different strategy, but I have the cues um, out here. Uh, off to the right, SPY in the middle, and then IWM on the far left. Um, I'm more interested in getting a signal on the Qs and SPY at the same time, and I'm only going to be trading whenever there's a signal at the same time on the same candle um, as a QQQ and um, SPY. So we are looking for some strength in the markets i figure that's going to be my best opportunity my best strategy um, to find sh strength strength within the uh, overall market so let's see how this goes hopefully we can get into a trade it looks like uh, we might be trading to the downside so i've been watching um, the markets all morning long and we have conflicting moves here on the cues and spy you can see here that uh, it's mainly red I'm sure flying, to, flying to out here the uh, MACD, but take a look at the Qs, definitely very green and moving higher. As you can see here, we're getting a um, sell signal here on SPY, but gosh, uh, the Qs are still very in the green and I'm not so keen on, on taking this trade here, even though the um, moving averages do look fairly good um, everything does look good on spy I'm not really liking liking it here mainly because the uh, overall market doesn't seem to have a whole lot of momentum to the downside at the moment so this looks interesting um, Still not interested in trading it, but uh, IWM made a big move to the downside. Uh, SPY, that's a nice looking candle there. And the Qs are still very green, but look at that candle there as well. I'm not getting any signals off of the Qs, so I'm just gonna sit tight again. I like the 291 puts that expire today, same day expiration. They are trading at 39 by 41. So 40, 41, somewhere around there, you can get in. So they're just gonna sit here and watch it. See um, see if it would have been a profitable trade if we would have gotten in on this signal here. All those puts are now trading at 53 cents. Look at that. From 41 to 53. That's a better move. Very interesting. We were able to identify this being a good potential trade because we saw this in IWM, big red candlestick. And then we also saw the Qs moving lower. Um, wow, it's trading at 57 cents. That that would have been a very good trade there. Very good trade. 
Looks like that was the uh, trade there for the day. It did look good. Um, just to recap really quick, it did look good. The moving averages look good. Um, they're, they're definitely spread apart. And we saw this red big, big red candle on IWM. And then we saw the Q starting to move lower. But even though that uh, the Q started, um, you know, they're were, they were very green. I just didn't like it enough to trade myself. Uh, more so, I was just watching him. But that was the trade. Again, we could have bought the 291 puts that expired today. We could have bought them at 41 cents, even as low as 40 cents, and they're now trading at 52 by 54. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. It's an hour into the opening bell into the market, so, and I don't think uh, there's gonna be any more action. That was the trade. Again, I didn't trade it personally. I was just watching it. This is definitely something I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep watching the queues, SPY, IWM all together. By the way, these are all five minute charts and I have all the uh, same scripts working together. And the same script that is on SPY is on IWM and the queues. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Sorry this was such a boring video, but at least um, you can see a little bit of how I am thinking. So thank you so much, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.